Welcome, Mr. Webb. Mr. Brown is already awaiting you. You will find him in his office, down the hallway. Thank you. Have a pleasant stay, sir. He doesn't need the contracts. I don't need an umbrella at the moment. He awaits you in his office. Mr. Brown. Nice to meet you, Mr. Webb. But you... Did you have a nice arrival? Are you... okay? I'm fine, thank you. You look hungry, though. Business can wait until tomorrow. Well... But before we eat, you have to meet the other guests. Guests? I'd like to introduce you to Miss April Merritt. April, this is my business partner, Mr. Webb. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. But don't you think it's quite odd that he's in- This is her daughter, Josie. Hello, sir. And you already met my butler, Declan, over there. Very well. Guys! What's going on here? Let's have dinner. Delicious. Isn't it, April? Declan really surpassed himself. Yummy. What do you think, Mr. Webb? I am really tired. That's hardly surprising. You had an exhausting day. And we've got a lot of work to do. We'll see each other tomorrow. Just come to my office when you're ready. I will guide Mr. Webb to his room then. All right. Shall I stay here? With Mr. Brown? I'll be right back, okay? Your room is upstairs. Second door on the left. So, now that we are alone... What the heck is wrong with Mr. Brown? Psst. He might hear us. Why shouldn't I speak out about what he is? Because it's very dangerous to provoke him. He doesn't seem to be aggressive. But he has been in the past. How long have you already been here? I don't know exactly. Weeks. Maybe even months. He won't let us leave. And what do you think about Declan? I don't know if we can trust him. Maybe you can find out. Do you want to leave this place? Of course I do. Let's go then. He is with Josie right now, and I won't leave without her. Let's just go and get her. What could he do to stop us? You underestimate him. Sometimes he lurks in the dark, eavesdrops on our conversations. I think he even poisoned the tap water. The only way you could help us is to neutralize him. Before you fall under his spell. I don't need an umbrella. Good morning, Mr. Webb. I often can't find any sleep at night. Then I like to observe the stars through my telescope. I often
often can't find Then I like Enough for today. We're making good progress here. See you later at dinner. See you there. How may I be of service? May I ask you a personal question, Declan? Certainly, sir. Have you ever thought about quitting your job? Excuse me? Do you think about leaving this house? It's not that easy. I will take care of it. But I need your help. What should I do? Can you provide me some sort of weapon? Well, there are plenty of knives in the kitchen. That should do. Meet me tomorrow at this place. We have to eat dinner now. How was work? Mr. Webb is a tough negotiating partner. But I'm confident that we can conclude an agreement. We'll find a solution for our problem. Soon. You're our only chance. Don't worry. It will be over soon. I'm afraid it may already be too late. Mr. Webb, what are you up to? I... I knew it all the time, but it won't work. You hear me? Mr. Brown. Declan. I didn't do anything wrong, sir. It's me who decides about that. Come to my room after dinner. No, sir, please. Here it is. Thank you, Declan. Be prepared to leave this house soon. I just hope that it works. See you later. Let's get out of here. Can we really leave now, Mummy? I think it's already too late for him. No, not again. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Let's have dinner. Welcome, Mr. Fowler. Mr. Webb is already awaiting you. You will find him in his office, down the hallway. Thank you. Have a pleasant stay, sir. He awaits you in... I don't need an umbrella. Mr. Webb? Nice to... Did you... Yes. You look but before... Yes. A nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. This is her daughter, Josie. Hello, sir. And you already met my... Very well. Let's have... Delicious. What do you think? I'm more interested in why you are an... So, everyone finished? Yes, Mum. I will guide Mr. Fowl. All right. Should I stay with Mr. Fowl? I'll be... We'll see. Just come to... We've got a lot... Your room, second... Have a...
have a good night. Sleep. Good morning, Mr. Fowler. I off then I See you there. Voices in my head, they scream in the name of a long forgotten past. They're threatening me. This shell is built to last. Hear me out, this ain't over soon. Day in and day out we feast at noon The final contract might get you out Go figure what it's about If I can leave then you can too No men, no women, no innocent daughter They'll have to see this through It may have started out with a sip of the water Another day, another night Another sip, another bite I can feel the many feet Marching out as I'm complete It's getting worse, the feeling inside Got nowhere to run, no place to hide And I can feel the many feet Marching out as I'm complete How may I be of service? What do you recommend to drink? We've got a decent selection of red wine. Just don't drink the tap water. Why shouldn't I? Well, the water in this area is a bit limey. What's for dinner today? Haggis. Nice. May I ask? Certainly. Do you like working for Mr. Webb? Well, he's a good man, I guess. Have you ever thought of Excuse do you it's not I will take what I need What should I Can you Well that should meet me we have to How is Mr. Butter will find You're don't it Here it is Can you... Here you go. Thank you. Be prepared. I just... I concealed a knife inside... I don't want... Let's get- Can we really- I think it's already too late for him. No, not again! Oh, I'm so thirsty. Let's have dinner. Welcome, Mr. Chambers. Mr. Fowler is already awake. You will find him in his office. Down the- Thank you. Have a pleasant stay, sir. This place looks strangely familiar. There is a knife hidden.
Let's get out of here. Can we really... Yes, my dear. This creature won't detain us any longer. We'll leave this nightmare. And never look back. Voices in my head They scream in the name of a 